Our next guest is a filmmaker, uh, investigative journalist, researcher, uh, producer, international uh, broadcast radio show host, and if I can call him, I think he's the Obi-Wan Kenobi of the InfoWars, Mr. Alex Imris Jones. Well, I was excited when uh, they invited me down here last week, and it's just wonderful to know that in 50 states across the United States, people are meeting together uh, and uh, having this public event and this press conference of the alternative media and 9-11 Truth to challenge the official uh, fable, the conspiracy theory, that is the 9-11 attacks of eight and a half years ago. And the good news is that despite the fact that the mainstream media almost entirely has been ignoring architects and engineers for 9-11 Truth, uh, the information just continues to gain ground and radically expand every single day because it was a French philosopher once said that no army can stop an idea whose time has come. And we now see the mainstream media more than ever not just trying to ignore what we actually have to say, but demonizing us. In the last eight years of 9-11 Truth, uh, we see the uh, most expansive attacks and demonization campaigns in our history going on now because we're a danger to the system. It was uh, Mahatma Gandhi uh, that said that first they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they attack you, then you win. And we're really entering that phase where they've tried to ignore us, then they tried to laugh at us, now they're attacking us, and we are winning. The problem... <laughs> the only problem with 9-11 Truth is we have so much evidence, so many facts, so much proof that the official story is a lie from one end to the other. I mean, just this week, I could get up here for 30 minutes and speak about uh, the fact that the ACLU got the White House... Uh, memorandum released from Dick Cheney, the real president at the time, uh, to the 9-11 Commission, which Bush appointed, but was never independent, telling them, you will not investigate 9-11. You will not look at the attacks. You will just dis basically be a propaganda arm to promote national ID cards, naked body scanners, NORTHCOM, and Homeland Security federalizing and militarizing this country. Now, we had seen some of the 9-11 commissioners in years past say that they were not allowed to look at the attacks when they were asked by family members and others, and we've also seen six of the ten in the Washington Post and other publications say that it was a complete cover-up. We've seen John Farmer, uh, one of the chief counsels, one of the lawyers, uh, in, in a new book that's out, uh, saying that there was a criminal cover-up by the Pentagon. And so that's enough right there to force a new investigation. That's enough information right there uh, to demand a new investigation. But the problem is the government itself is controlled by the very same uh, shadow government, the coup we've had in this country, uh, by the Central Intelligence Agency and others that Ron Paul just a few months ago talked about. He said there's been a coup in America. Uh, really since the time of Kennedy, the people haven't run this nation. And so 9-11 truth is more than just 9-11 truth. It's just the truth. It's the end of innocence. It's, it's people starting to really question, starting to really investigate, starting to become as informed about geopolitical activities, about what the Pentagon's doing, about what the war machine is doing that Eisenhower warned us about in his farewell address as they are informed about baseball or football or what their favorite Hollywood stars are doing. But I go back to the fact that for several weeks there's been a press release out about this event that's going to be running for the next eight hours today, uh, ending with Dr. Bob Bowman uh, breaking down the facts of 9-11. Uh, but when you have a thousand architects and engineers come out, they had press conferences a few weeks ago, it made the foreign press, it didn't make the Washington Times, but it didn't get one one-hundredth the attention it should have, and that's because the system is deathly afraid 
of this information because this information is the truth. And I know there is some mainstream media here and quite a bit of alternative media. I just wanted to start off by making the point that the reason we see the mainstream media literally going bankrupt and newspapers shutting down everywhere and even cable news ratings dropping is because in every poll and every focus group that's been done, the American people do not trust the controlled corporate media. They trust the alternative media a lot more. And so this is the beginning of the end uh, for this military industrial complex. They finally have gone from the uh, previous mode of ignoring us and being full of hubris and calling us tinfoil hat wearers uh, to now openly coming out and saying under the White House cybersecurity plan started by Bush now being forced through Congress now in the Senate by Barack Obama that they will try to shut down the alternative media. You have Cass Sunstein at the White House coming out and writing policy papers on how they should arrest people that have quote conspiracy theories about 9-11 or at least license them or put a special tax on their speech. Uh, you have Reuters yesterday saying, well, they've made a change in the Senate version of the cybersecurity bill. The president can't just unilaterally shut the web off in the Internet if he wants. He has to appoint a council. He appoints a council of corporate chiefs who then make recommendations to him, but the final power lies with the president. Think about how far this country has gone, that the government and the corporate media are now so threatened by alternative information and citizen muckrakers that they are openly now sending up test trial balloons and beta testing the end of the free Internet as we know it. They did not intend to do this at this stage. The white papers I've read, they plan to start curtailing the Internet in the next five to ten years. Now they're moving their game plan up because they are desperate and they realize that the people are listening. And it's happening because so many wonderfully prominent people have gone public for 9-11 Truth. Former German Defense Minister Andres von Bülow, what the number three in the current uh, Japanese government's 9-11 Truther. I've interviewed him multiple times. He goes into the diet and plays videos of Building 7 collapsing in their Congress, in their Parliament. We have people like Dr. Bob Bowman, former head of the Star Wars program, and a highly decorated military veteran, a true person of conscience, who has been actively crisscrossing the United States and the world, exposing 9-11 truth, and thousands of other prominent people. But most importantly, millions and millions and millions of average people that understand the danger. If a criminal group can kill 3,000 of us in broad daylight and suspend the laws of physics and sell this to the people and launch illegal wars and kill over a million Iraqis and lie about WMDs in a premeditated fashion, none of us are safe because this same system is still in control whether we have George Bush, Barack Obama, or somebody like Rick Perry in three years in the White House. Sarah Palin isn't going to save you. Joe Biden isn't going to save you. You are going to save this country and this planet. The United States wants the true beacon of liberty and freedom worldwide. The example to other nations has now become an example of corruption and oppression and tyranny. The communist Soviets... 60, 70 years ago, would torture people. They would torture people's children. They would force confessions. But they never publicly admitted it and tried to sell it to their population as a good thing. The Nazis tortured and murdered people in mass. They tortured people's wives and children in front of them to get false confessions. But they never publicly admitted it, even in their kangaroo courts. Only the arrogant social engineers that run this nation, people like John Yoo, people like Alberto Gonzalez, people like Barack Obama, who is continuing and expanding rendition and secret arrest and secret black sites all over the world. They are the only ones who in history have said that torturing children is a good thing. 
They are attempting to literally twist the minds of the people to, to baptize us in pure, black-hearted murder and corruption so that this entire system of NORTHCOM homeland security oppression that we were sold as a bill of goods, just like Hitler. Oh, it's for a minority. It's for people that wear turbans. It's for people thousands of miles away in a cave. But when we got the Homeland Security and PNAC documents last year from law enforcement, it showed us what we already knew, but proved it. The entire system is focused on activists, anti-war activists, anti-GMO food activists, Second Amendment activists, libertarians, anti-war activists, returning veterans, former police, anyone that has any skills is targeted by this secret police network that the system is attempting to roll out against us.